Greetings, everybody. Brother Stu here. Back to Bible videos. I want to acknowledge the Lord in all my ways. He may direct our path and all things here alone get the glory. If you see the title of this video, it may shock you. It may disturb you, make you upset. That's not my intention. This video is a video of love. But the point of the title is if you are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and filled with the Holy Ghost or waiting to be filled with the Holy Spirit of promise, then this that then you ought will rejoice knowing that you have obeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ. And for those who have not. It may make you angry and say, oh, that's arrogant. Who is he to say that? You're not a Christian. I'm not saying that you're not a Christian. The Bible is. And here's why. As us Christians who have obeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ, who have repented and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. We have failed in many ways because. Of fear and lack of conviction and many other scenarios have caused us to make mistakes and now we're living in a time where anyone says they are Christian and we don't ask like Paul how are you baptized because we are afraid that okay they're gonna say oh well I'm just starting out and we that is the these are the these are the opportunities where we have the ability to you know share with them whether they hear or whether they forbear. That's the opportunity to tell them. So we are we are afraid of rejection. Like it's something to us, but it's not it's nothing to do with us. We have to get past self. I have to get past self because I'm guilty of this. We have to get past self. How were you baptized? And they said, Oh, I accepted the Lord as my Accepted Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I'm a Christian. And I'm and many and you have to say, well, if you accepted him as your Lord and Savior, but why didn't you do what he said? Glory to God in the highs. Then many people will run to the epistles and say, Well, if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart, thou art saved. That like that's supposed to debunk what Jesus said. No, it verifies what Jesus said because the apostles didn't preach something different from what Jesus gave them. He said, confess with your mouth and believe with your heart. That's why in Romans chapter 8 with the Ethiopian eunuch, he did both. So if you have not repented and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you are still in your sins. You, you believe in Jesus you believe in Jesus. You believe that he went to the cross for you and died for your sins. And you, you believe that and accept that. And that is good. But you have not done what he said. So then if you have not done what he, what he said, then you have not fully accepted him as your Lord, which means ruler and savior. Glory to God. In order to accept him as your Lord and Savior, you have to do what he said. And he said, accept a man be born of again. Accept a man be born of water and of the spirit. And he said, he, and in Mark 16 and 15, he that believeth. So you, you have the belief. But the belief will cause you to do something. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Why, why didn't Jesus say, if you confess with your mouth and, and, and believe with your heart, you shall be saved? He said it there. Because if you will confess that he is Lord and believe with your heart, then you will, it will cause you to be baptized. Because many false prophets have gone out in the world and have made good and People with intentions of doing it right have corrupted the people. Many false prophets have gone out into the world and have deceived many. And you, my friends, my, my brother, my sisters, my loved ones who are hearing this video. That's why this is titled, You're Not a Christian. Because you have been deceived by false prophets who made, who took your good intentions and your 
pr- pr- your seeking of of the true God and living God, and have and and have kept you bound and made you comfortable in your bound state. And and the Word of God says, "Whom the Son of Man set free, he is free indeed." But but since the devil have used his ministers to block the full transference of freedom. You have this false security and still in your sin. And then when someone asks you, oh, you're a Christian? So am I. How were you baptized? Then there's a whole lot of explanation and yada, yada, yada. And you like, and you try to sit in the scripture and it's hard to accept because they've been so long comfortable and thinking they okay. Acts chapter 8. I do have a new computer and I use it downstairs. But since the quality is not good, my phone gets better quality. Because I, I like the computer, thanks be to God. Let's digress a little bit. I have a new computer, thanks be to God. And with a software, I can do more editing and put the scriptures up like that. And um, But the quality in the mic is not that good. So, um, But hopefully, Lord's willing, I get a better better camera, a better microphone. So I can do my, my channel even more professionally and properly, so it'll be more beneficial to the to the viewers. So God bless you uh, for your patience. Acts chapter eight. I just want to look at verse thirty-seven. And Philip said, "If thou believest with all thine heart," it's like what Paul said: "If you believe with thine heart, thou mayest." Because let's go to verse six, thirty-six. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, see, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, if thou believest with all thine heart. The, the eunuch, as he said, what will stop me from getting baptized? <laughs> Glory to God. What will stop me from getting baptized? And he said, see, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? You have Preach to me, Jesus. And you talk about water is necessary for my baptism. There it is right there. What stops me from getting baptized? And and Philip said, if thou believest with all thine heart, you can do it. Nothing stops you. Your belief is what stops you. He said, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And and said, and he answered, the eunuch says, and he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. There is confession and there is belief. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. He told his driver, hey, put the brakes on. And they, and they went down both into the water. I emphasize on that because he wasn't sprinkled. What was the point in sprinkling a man and, and you in a river and y'all both got into the river? You, you get you get half your body wet just so he can drop some water on your on your head. Baptism immersed. Buried. They went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch let you know who it was. I love the redundancy sometimes of the scripture to make it so plain. To make it so plain. Hallelujah to God. And he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. He was happy. Why? Because he's a Christian now. And he and the eunuch just came back from church. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, he came was riding in his chariot from Jerusalem back to Ethiopia in his chariot, reading the scripture. Isaiah left the temple to put it in context. And left the temple, went to the temple and left the temple and was not a Christian. Met the man of God on the way back home. Preached the gospel to him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Came out of the water. A Christian. 
Now ask yourself, hallelujah to God. Are you a Christian? Hallelujah to God. My God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Don't be upset. Ask yourself if you really want to serve God. Look at the scripture. Don't listen to these preachers. Glory to God in the highs. If somebody come and ask you, don't be offended. Don't be offended. Because that person is, you have a zeal of God, but not according to ours. And that person who have the, the time and the patience and the and the and the the love to inquire, you said you're a Christian? How? They love you and they are concerned about your soul because they know that many false prophets have gone into the world because everybody's not going to ask you that question. If you say you're a Christian, oh, I'm a Christian too. <laughs> and don't even inquire because they themselves probably don't know. But those that know the truth and have that boldness, they, they really care about you. So don't be offended by the title. Take the time to listen to this and look at the word of God. If you can and you say that you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then ask yourself, have I done what my Lord and Savior said to do? To be a part of his family, his body? Think about it, folks. Write me, email me. We mean well in Jesus name. We love you all. Everyone who comes on this video, we love you in the name of Jesus Christ.